Hey guys, my name is Jack, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to run Linux. In this tutorial, I'll be using Zubuntu in VirtualBox. So, first thing you want to do is head over to the VirtualBox website. Just here, you want to go to the download section. You want to download VirtualBox for your operating system. After you've done that and it's installed, you want to head over to Zubuntu and you want to download the one for your machine. After that, you want to go to VirtualBox, you want to click New. You want to click New, you want to click Next. You want to type in Zoo Ubuntu, or you can name whatever you want, just make sure Linux and Ubuntu is checked. You want to click Next, you can have which RAM you want as long as it's within the green. Click Next, Next, Next. This one 20 gigabytes of that's memory, like as in a 20 gigabyte hard drive. And you want to click next and create. You want to go into settings, system. Here you can change all your memory again, the amount of processors you have, and if you have the option, your hardware acceleration. Now I give it about half. <coughs> you can change the monitors. Obviously, but I don't have an extra monitor, and that's what you need to do at the moment. After that, you can click Start. Click Next. Now, if you downloaded just the ISO and you're just running it off that, then you want to click that and find where your ISO is, which is what I'm doing. Click Open and Next and Start. You can click space. You can choose all your languages. There's quite a lot of them. Click next. You can try Ubuntu, which is like basically just a live OS. Installs Ubuntu. You can check for this test memory boot from hard disk. What you want to do is click on installs Ubuntu. And this is going to take a while to load. So I'm going to go um, and do something while I wait for this to load. And I'll come back once it's on the next important screen. So we're back, and this text has just come up on my screen. This has happened to me before. It doesn't really mean anything. And you can just continue on with the installation just as normal. It has never really um, altered my installation at all. As you can see, it is still just loading as normal, so I'll come back when the next screen is on. Okay, so as you can see, it has gone to the next screen. I'm just putting it in full screen mode. It is taking itself to the next screen. This lovely picture right here. As you can see, there's the name of the hard drive, the machine. You can click uh, to get into full screen, it's just right to control, it has to be the right one, and F, and it will take you into full screen in virtual box. And this is probably going to take a while to load, so I'm going to go out of that. Pause. Okay, um, as you can see, the installer is now loaded up. You can see you have all your languages that you can choose here. We're going to choose English. Click continue. Pardon me. This does take a while because one, it's in a virtual machine, and two, I haven't given much RAM because my computer is shit. So just waiting for to load. Um, you can click these if you're connected to the internet. We, well, we actually are, it just doesn't know. And then we click continue. Once it goes to the next stage already. And that 
is my phone. Alright, shall you please be quiet? Okay, so we're on the next one. We're on the next bit. You can go here and make several different retarded partitions. Bit here, we go into and the entire disk and installs Ubuntu. Now, don't worry, this won't rave race your operating system on your computer at all. So you can see the 21.5 gigs. Nothing else to install it to. You just click install now. Wait for that to load. Coming as you can see down here. It is installing the open rating system right now. Well, well we're going to set up our user accounts and time zones and things like that. I'm just waiting. Because this does take freaking ever. So waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting. Come on. Probably it's taking a bit longer because I am recording. Setting up the partitioner. Down here it will tell you exactly what it's actually doing at this very point in time. And as you can see it's setting up the partitioner. Okay, we have time zone. We are in... I live in Brisbane. Australia. So we click that one. Here it's done all the partitions. It's just detecting the file system it's just created. This is going to the next bit already. Pretty much nearly be done with the installation. Okay, it's formatting the swap space, which is in which the swap space in Increases the performance of your Linux, Linux the distribution, no matter which one you're using. And it's still attempting to take me to the next screen. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's on my keyboard. I accidentally click continue already, but as you can see, all the keyboard types and all that. Mine's US, so just click continue as you would. Okay, so. Password. See, it's only I have a weak password, but too bad because that's what it's wrong I'm using. It's now creating an external file file system, which is just what it'll be installing the operating system on. That should be the last screen. We should now get some information about Ubuntu. And just waiting pretty much. You can see this is fairly slow on my computer. It probably is faster on your computer. 
that it should now go to the next screen within like the next 10 seconds because I'm getting annoyed with it. Ah! Next screen already. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. That's the last screen. Um, I'm going to pause it. Okay, so the installation has just completed. And now you just want to click restart. Wait for it to restart. So slow. Should this is something for me to do? I should just shut it down. Is it shut down? Do you like the settings? Go into storage. Go to that and click the minus. Remove that. And then click start. And what we should get is virtual machine to boot into. Ubuntu. So it's going. It's booting. <coughs> and wait for it, guys. It's gonna happen. Wait a second. Okay, so after you've clicked the reset button, the restart button in the ISO, it should reset the machine and put you straight into Ubuntu. So, thanks for watching. For more tutorials, like, comment, and subscribe. If you need help, send me a message. Thank you.